Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can add in a webcam to show our self in a video. Um, in other words, a talking head, and we'll also be applying chroma key or color key in order to filter out some of the background so that what we're left with is just a talking head at the end of this. So in OBS, you want to go to the sources for whichever scene you want to add the webcam to. We'll go down to the plus for add or we can right click and go to add video capture device. I'm going to create a new video capture device and we'll call this webcam. So here I need to select a webcam. Uh, it can be my Logitech HD or the Lenovo EasyCam, which is the built-in webcam. Um, and usually it would pop up here, but in my case, I'm going to have to set a custom resolution to get it to show up, I think. And there we go. Uh, for most people, you won't have to do that, but that might be one fix. And now we have myself inside of the video and we have a white background behind us. That's what you would have by default. For many people, this will be okay as long as you have a good background setup. Um, but some people may want to filter out all of this white background you see behind me. So to add any kind of effect to our webcam, you have to right click on the source you want to edit, go to filters, and it's going to pop up this audio video filters and effects filters boxes. From there, if you want to add in chroma key, which we do, you click on the add button in the bottom left hand corner for the effects filters and go to chroma key. So in order to filter out a background color, you're going to have to have a solid weird color that does not usually show up on your clothing or on your skin. So for instance, green is the classic color to go with and ideally you want the lighting in your room to make the background one universal color. So if you're really trying to get professional about this, um, you're going to need to do some real-world lighting setup and have uh, a solid uh, green curtain or something close to that. But in this video, I'll try to filter out this green. It's a solid green in real life. The lighting, obviously, you can see is a little bit uniform here. Um, but we'll try to make it work. So in effects, effect filters, what you would do here is you go hit plus, chroma key. We're going to hit OK here. And uh, green is selected out of the box here. And you can see how it kind of tries to filter out the green, but it doesn't do it quite perfectly. So we can disable this temporarily and go to custom, select color, and pick a screen color in order to get a more precise green. So let's try to get that one right there. Hit OK and enable the chroma key. So sometimes when we select a color and we have the similarity turned up, it's going to filter out a lot more than what we want inside of the video. So we have to turn down the similarity until it basically filters out the background or whatever we're trying to make invisible. So I'm going to leave it at about 100 here. You can see it doesn't perfectly affect my shirt there. So it's probably not the ideal. Um, but if we close this out now, you can see part of the background um this image i had loaded up before the video started through the helmet so the helmet's definitely there but it takes the green color and it turns it into alpha so the same principle will apply when you have a solid colored background behind you and then you try to filter all of that out because then this green area it'll be like that but for the entire background and then you can have any gameplay footage any kind of tech footage whatever you want behind you you just need the proper setup for that. So you can go online, you can look for some green screen materials. They're not too expensive. But as far as setting this up in terms of OBS goes, that's basically all there is to it. The real trick is getting the right lighting and the right background setup. You want as uniform as a color as possible. So as long as you have that, you should be able to get this going inside of OBS now. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this brief demonstration on adding in a webcam and using Chroma Key in order to filter out the background inside of OBS. And I will see you guys in my future video content.